Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Today we are going to be attempting to create something with negative space. For me, that's a challenge. One, I've not studied art. I don't know what it all means, but what I am trying to do is within my image, leave some of the white whiteness of the board, but just capture some really nice colors and shimmers in a specific area. That's the intention, let's see if it works out, because with resin, you can have this mindset, but you never know what's gonna happen. So it's a beautiful day outside. I'm on my second piece in the studio of today. I'm hoping that all the negative juju has now gone and that I have cleaned up my studio. I'm in a really great place that this is going to be a beautiful, calming piece to work on. So I am going to be using my artist panel board, which is 12 by 12, already primed and white. I'm feeling the need for a white background. I have got my Mastercast One Plus One all mixed up and distributed ready the colors i've chosen is six so about usual for me but i am going with the easy composite which is the burnt sienna i'm looking for a nice solid brown and that's going to complement my background which is the peacock green pearl pigment by sfxc try saying that one and then my four pearl x colors that i'm going to be using i'm feeling the need for golds and bronzes so i'm going to use uh, super copper super bronze aztec gold and antique copper so we're going for a nice little hopefully shimmery feel they are all mixed up ready so I am going to show you what I'm going to do. So I've used my mask while I mix my pigments just to stop you breathing in all the fine particles. Got my gloves to stop any reaction to my resin and stopping me getting sticky all over because I'm a very messy worker. I've just made sure that my board is level so that there's going to be no runoff. And I believe we are going to be good to go. So I'll see you on the other side of this and we'll start creating some art. So I had to just level off my board again because I moved it so that you've got a good line of sight for the camera. But it is always important, I believe, that when you have moved your board, make sure that you are level because it really can alter your image very, very fastly um, if you're running off into a space that you don't want. I wanted to capture a lot of clearing here because I want to make sure that some of this white from the board where it's been primed and it's a lovely shine I'm going to try and use that as some of my pieces as well and I am going to have to leave my resin up ticked a little bit just want to capture every single bit of resin I'm going to see if I can keep it all on the board, but if it does want to start running off, I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to use my stick to just distribute the resin. I prefer that than my fingers. <laughs> I just don't like the stickiness. I see so many people having fun putting the fingers in it. When I've spread this far uh, should I say all over the surface what I will do is just air bubble it just want to try and keep on top of those it has warmed up on my second piece I'm working on that was a fight <laughs> you'll see that in my video it was one that I was going to give up on or throw it in the bin or it really challenged me just this day, just sometimes it just doesn't work out how you expect it's going to be. But persistence paid off. Whereas this piece, I've reset all the studio. I'm feeling calm. I'm only working with a few colours. There's no particular image. I'm just going to go for a feeling. I'm just going to try and enjoy this. And I will just wipe my hands then with alcohol wipes and I think I'm going to add my 
burnt sienna first, followed with my peacock colour, and then I'll overlap with some of these beautiful colours. And if I do have any resin left, I am going to make myself. That was the resin dropped on the floor, but luckily it all stayed in the pot. Wow. Okay. I feel like I almost want to keep it linear though. Okay. Trying to keep my edges. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with a tiny, uh, maybe a line of the peacock here. And then up here. And maybe a couple of little lines backwards and forwards. Just helping the colours down the side so we don't leave big blobs. Just noticing some resin. It's not going into certain places, so I'm just helping it go in there now. And I think before I actually move it, I'm going to add one of my golds. I do want to try and protect these edges. So I'm going to go back in now with the dark brown. This should add a nice little shimmer. bit fine, maybe not so much in the middle. I think I'm going to go for a thick gold band in the middle. All the time I've got to be conscious though because it's shoving my resin out. Feeling like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for a moment. And I am going to torch this for the bubbles. And then I'm gonna come in with a slightly little bit of red in there now, the burnt sienna. I'm gonna come down more this way now. going to add a little bit of gold. I think I might keep the gold a little bit either side of this. At the other way. And maybe just a few thin lines through. Okay. Really like this. the effects, the negative space that I might just be able to pull off people. So I am going to just tidy up these edges again, just mindful that if it wants to come off the edge it can, but I'm just going to try and keep it in line with this, the top. And I am just going to very subtly bring it down try and get some movement and then bring it back the other way I'm really happy with that all right making sure there's no raising on my gloves I'm just going to Try to drag it off a little bit. And it's starting to bleed into each other, which is nice. But I'm just going to add a little bit more. 
bit more colour now. I am going to bring it back this way because I don't like how it is appearing to be. Moving that way more. Tempted to just get my heat gun and, and see if it's going to blend beautifully. Uh, it's a risk, but a risk I'm willing to take because I do have some spare colours where I can add more. I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to come back and add um, some more solid line colour through. Um, that's just a preference for myself but what I've done is allowed it to bleed into each other a little bit. It's creating its own little nice effects but hopefully I've not made it too hot that it will cool down soon and I can apply that but I just don't want to apply it yet uh, because it is still quite warm there's a lot of movement happening and I don't want it to bleed too much when I apply the other one I want it to stay fairly true but there are some beautiful blendings but the I'm noticing my edges are getting less and less white so that's not necessarily what I wanted but if that's where it needs to do and there is just a little bit of negative space I'm happy next time I know to potentially put less clear resin on I think that's what it's done. Maybe put less clear clear resin and then um, put the colours on you want, layer it and then add the clear resin around the edge. So there's some nice depths and some nice effects and some nice bleeding happening. But I'm definitely going to come through with a few more solid stripes of the colour so I'm glad I have a little bit of everything left other than the brown and what I am going to do is just get a piece of board uh, left because it looks like I'm going to have enough spare to work on a board. Just scooping up some resin that's stripped off and putting it on here. Uh, but I am going to use what's left in the tubs as well. But when I apply them to this, I will show you this. I'll flip the camera around the other side and hopefully you'll get to see that. And hopefully it's not obstructing your view, so I'll just pull that out of the way a little bit. So it's definitely losing some of the cleanness that I wanted. But I think that's because of the clear as well, it's dropping to the bottom. There's some nice cool effects happening. Might just leave it a little bit longer before I apply. anything else and then I will have to look over it and check that resin is touching all corners <laughs> which I find a little bit hard when you um, to see when it's clear when it's colour you can see it I'm ready to come back with some solid colours now such a shame it didn't stay in those nice stripes that I wanted I really did like that so I'll apply it again with my stick. Not too much left, so it'll be interesting to see what this will do. Will this spread? Will it not? But hopefully it's just going to add that nice little bit of bold colour back. This looks like a mountain and a reflection in a lake. How bizarre. It's amazing how your eye can, eyes and brain can create things with what you're seeing. Okay, there is nothing left for the blue. So that's all used up.
she says, still finding more out of the pot. Was going to come out of that but I am going to leave that up tipped on the spare board that I've got and I'm going to work on. Okay, I'm going to come back through with a solid colour for the middle. It has not left me any negative spaces, but I don't think it's devalued it. <laughs> it's actually really nice how it's bleeding to the edge and I kind of see a reflection, like a mirror image of what's at the top. So I'm hoping it is going to settle down soon though. You really do. So I will bring you in for a close up, but I'm just going to continue to just look after this bottom part here. I'm going to get my heat gun, not my heat gun, my blowtorch, oh dear, do this, pop any bubbles and then I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see where I've been working on the other side. The colour schemes are just stunning if I do say so myself. Alright, that nearly was disastrous, nearly got a paper towel in there. So I'm now going to flip it to the other side now and I'm hoping you are going to have this in view and what I'm going to do is pop these bubbles and I am going to then use the blowtorch uh, and let the colours just intermingle themselves and hopefully that will leave a nice um, leftover painting. So let me entertain you said Robbie Williams, might not just be enough. I might be able to scrape some up, just helping it, sorry, I'm just helping it to the edges. I will scoop some up as well, it's got a nice true colour, but already you can see some beautiful cell effects happening as it inter, interweaves with itself. Sometimes it's just amazing how you can just throw some stuff together with your leftovers and actually create what I think is a nice image or nice effects. Definitely very gold. Would have been nice to have had um, a few of the darker colours just to add a little bit of uh, depth of perspective. So I might just see what I've got in the way of other image, other colours where I can scrape out, but. I am not too sure if that's in view. Apologies, I'm going blind here, but I am going to look for sticks. This one. So I am just checking the edges, making sure it's the 
as level as possible, I'm going to come back with, I think, another cup. Pretty. Never expected you to come out, but very happy. So I'm just going to bring it in for a close-up. I've only just finished working on this. It is very wet. I'd love to understand or get your feedback. What do you see? For me, I see mountains and earth, and then a reflection in water. But the colours, I think, the way they're bleeding into each other. Beautiful, it's creating its own effects and cells, and that's from the clear resin. I did want to keep more white at the edges, negative space. So I suppose I failed on the negative space. However, I've learnt what I can do differently um, next time. And um, what I've got to do is just tidy up these edges. I've kept them clear, although they are down the side there. Uh, just the look that I wanted to go for. But I will say that this is a thumbs up didn't imagine this but I did keep feeling calm and serene and I think that's what's come out in this one so this one is the overspills the leftover and I love these colors together I love what this image is I would have liked a little bit more depth in there with a the dark color but I'm going to come back and work with this on a bigger picture at a later day but that peacock green with those bronzes and you might not be able to see it's creating its own little cells they're not really air bubbles you can see the, <laughs> they are just how it's forming itself but not bad for a left leftover and i think they complement each other beautifully apologies for my very messy workstation but on this occasion i had so much fun working on these two pieces they turned out different to where I expected. They turned out better than where I expected, uh, which goes to show that your resin is going to be the one that's going to control you a little bit. You've just got to work out how to manipulate it and master it. But I'll bring you back when they're both dried. We'll see if they're dry like this or if I lose anything or air bubbles pop up. But I just wanted to say thank you. It's been amazing hanging out with you. If you like my art or at least the learning aspect of sharing it on my YouTube, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe and also leave feedback very very important for me so have the most amazing day and i'll see you in two days so i am back this is fully dried i'm going to show you hopefully a little bit more detail of this artwork and how it's all settled down i know that there's a bit of reflection i will move that but one very happy lady received a lot of nice positive feedback around this so i'm just going to lift it up and see if you can see so this old bleeding came because I put a lot of clear resin on to start with but it's just created a natural organic mountain range and there's some nice little shimmers in there and you can see where it is and the tones and everything are just stunning it never bled together too much so you still get some nice true colour and at the bottom it's created what I feel like is a reflection uh, there are a few little depths in there where there's the clear resin has come to the top and created that depth but overall I just feel that the colours I'm working with so remind me of Australia it reminds me of earth and water and mountain ranges and it just looks stunning I think I'd struggle to replicate this exactly because it did its own thing and I just sculpted it as the image came together but moving on so this was from all the leftovers and applied that and it's created such a beautiful beautiful interesting little piece and love how when you look in here at different angles it, there's a lot of depth um, and that in there and the water I've just seen I've got all resin in my nails I do apologize uh, but overall I think these are definitely winners and very very proud of this when working on resin that I managed to create this piece very peaceful piece so if you do like my art uh, thumbs up subscribe 
and please leave a comment because they really are helping me grow or build my confidence or let me know what kind of things you're enjoying seeing or not so that I can tailor it a little bit more and make it a little bit more enjoyable for yourselves but have the most amazing day and I will see you on the next video